so welcome back guys and um on this video i just did it purposely to show you how you can import any fpx a uh, character in breda in a simple way so let me let's just get to the business so what you're going to do is just you create file you go to the import go to the fpx importing and i've also done so many of the tutorial where i show you like how you can import like animated character and whatever but this video is for those people who just want to know how you can import the character fpx so you just need to click here and then you come to the like i have so many saved here character like i would just like to look for the one uh let me just maybe i can click this on the obama here and just say import and this is just going to take two to three is a minute and then it will be done importing so now we have our character so i forgot to delete this one here so this one you can just delete and now you have your character which has so many things here so i don't get it why in bread like when you import something it come with all those things here so let me just try to put this character here so that we can see him good select this character here the amateur and now we can move it and the thing is like this character is animated no there's no animation on this character so uh, let me just show you with another animated character because this one if you can just click here and we see we have this character with all those things here so what let me just import another character let's delete this one here and now you see if you delete everything but now this character cannot do anything with it because it's not animated it's just appear like this so let's just stop here and i want to show you why so you just need to come to the this body and just delete everything so uh, we can just start a new don't save and um uh, so i delete this one here and now i come back here and i would like to show you like Characters and FBX. This um this the software that I'm using is Character Creator 3, which I like to make my character. I have done so many tutorial about this software, and you can also check it on so many tutorial about how to make characters using the uh Character Creator 3.3. So I want to show you. So this is I just click uh no not set to an icon. I did a mistake. So I just want to export characters and FBX with crop. And like you can see here, the target tool that I want to do is the breeder. So if I have to export this one character, maybe I want to export to the Maya. I want to export this character and use it in 3D Max, Unit 3D, Unreal Agent. They have another way of their bone structure and how they make it. So this one, I don't need it. So the thing is that if I have to say here, I want to export this character for the breeder. And that's why you see when I when I come here to my character, the character appear and if I play the animation, you can see he's already animated because the character is made for the breeder. 
So if you want to see the material for this character, just click there. And now you can see your character look the same way, like the way you import it. So uh, I would advise you the software you're using, let's see whether the character you export on the FBX fit for your character in Breda. Because if you just export another character FBX, it will not appear the same way here. The other thing I can show you, we have this software where I just take this software, I call it the 3D X stage. And with this software here, you can export like if you're using DAS or any other software, you can just export first of all this character here. Like, let me show you, maybe half a character I saved uh, from DAS. And let's go to the, let me just show you 3D X stage. I think I have a DAS, a DAS character, whatever. So if I just drag this one here and then I say that I want this one. So it is just going to be imported here and then now you can export this character and as a breeder character. That's the simplest way to do if you just want don't have to do so many i don't i don't expect that when you want to do animation you still have to do so many things like yeah I, this is yes just say yes yes and then your character will now we have this character this character was made in das studio uh i'm also going to do some das studio i have a tutorial where i can show you how you can make so now if you want to export as FPX, this one will start, this is a does. It ask you the whatever, but uh, custom. And then here they will ask you for whatever, but they don't have an option for di exporting direct to the, um, to the, uh, what do we call, to the breeder. So what I would like to do for me, I can just set this character to the icon show you. you can set this character to the icon it's not going to take long it's just going to open and in a few minutes it's just going to be um done so that i can show you how you can um now I'll be able to export this character and use this character from does to the uh breeder in a simple way So you can just check if you want to see how Icron, I've done so much about the Icron 7, which I use it for my uh, real time 3D animation. It's so simple and um, you can check on it for my, on my tutorial, I've done so many. Icron is also good, like you can do it. It does the same work like Breda, but the thing, bit different between Breda and Icon is that Icon you have to pay to buy it to use it and Breda is free that's the difference like if you are looking to do some animation and you just want to don't want to use this free software like Breda you can just use it on the Icon that's how uh, Icon 7 look like when you open for the first time So to ask me, so let me just crawl this one. I don't need it. And now the character that I exported from the 3D mask, this one, I said apply to the icon and it's going out to appear here. So yeah, this one they have to because I opened for the first time. And now this just takes some a few seconds. Uh, the problem was that because I had to uh, start again opening the icon and whatever so now you have your character here so this character like I can come here and put some motion she's a female let me just put a female motion just double click and it will be loaded to your character and, and you play it you can see that this character is being animated so what you just need to do is just come here and say export this character. And like you can see how far it is using the breeder. So like you said, there are also so many options. So what I need to do is that I want to export this character to the breeder. So I just say to the breeder, 
and I just export this character. So let me say a uh, uh, breeder agar or woman tutorial tutorial so that we don't fight this character. So I just say save. Just take a few seconds. Bump export it and now you can just now go to the breeder and we say like we want a new project don't save anything delete this box don't need it so come here say import fpx the one that we save go to the desktop and when you're in desktop just say click here and then now we have breeder woman tutorial let's see where we saw so this one here and now you can say import Take a few seconds. And now you will have your character. So now let's see something. Now you see, now you have your character here. But with so many bones because the ring and whatever. I don't, I'm not sure why the breeder does that one, but let's see. This is the character and everything. When you do the redaling, everything will not appear. But when you are doing like anime, so let's see like yeah we did a mistake here i'll show you why and this is what i like to tell people when we were exporting our character let me show you something fbx we just exported current frame and this is the mistake like yeah i did that one intentionally so that i can show you if you want to export the animation you have to say rate and now if i come here i have to rate the rage is from zero or they say from one to where this one end. This is why animation, my animation end. So if I have now to come and say export, and maybe I can just say the same. Uh, Breda, woman, animation. And FBX, okay. Now let's, let me show you the thing. That's why we, because whatever we exported was just the current frame. So there's no animation in this character. So you have to take care when you're just doing some exp exportation of the character and everything. So let's go back. We can just set a new file. Blader open so fast. That's the one thing I like about Blader. There is this one. Come now, go to import FPX. Go to this one, go to the 3D. And now we have Breda, this one animation. So we just import. And now you will see that now your character will be. Imported here with the same bone structure, like the same way. But now the difference is that we have the animation. So we can just click this one here. The thing is that if you delete those things, this character will not be animated. And that's how you get your character in Breda for the animation and whatever. So this story will just show you how you can import a different the character that you is meant an FBX character that was meant for Breda. And how to avoid like every time you import a character and you find that they have some mistake, you are not be able to use them. Just know that the character was not made for Breda. Thank you for watching this video and hope you to see in the next video. Bye.